In the earlier session on the glacial processes, we have seen how glacier moves, the geomorphic processes operated by the glacier, types of glacier and the landscape produced by the glacial deposition. Although depositional features associated with the work of glaciers are strikingly displayed, it is the erosional landforms that add distinctiveness to the glacial landscape. The scenic beauty of the snow covered mountains is spectacular. The erosional activity specially undertaken by the valley glaciers and subsequent landscape carved out in the snow covered mountains produces fantastic and picturesque landscape. The erosional work of the glacier is mostly confined above the snow line and also during the glacial movement when it leaves the snow field. In order to appreciate the glacial landscape, it is necessary to know the work of glacier as an erosional agent. The main objectives of this lesson are to study various erosional landforms as produced by the action of glacier, to study the model of cycle of erosion as applied to the glacial process, to know about the major glaciers in the Himalayan region. The erosional work of the glacier is mostly accomplished through the process of aberration and plucking. Aberration and plucking are responsible for the formation of numerous topographical features. The major landforms produced by glacial erosion are listed as Cirque, Erites or Serrated Ridge, Horn, Col, U-shaped Valley, Hanging Valley, Roshi Mountainous, Crag and Tail, Fjords, Glacial Stairways and Truncated Spurs. Cirque Cirques are the most common and probably the most striking landform in the glaciated region or mountains. A cirque is a semicircular or armchair like depression formed through the glacial erosion at the head of the valley glacier. The cirque is characterized by steep head wall and side walls. A cirque head wall may be as much as 1000 to 2000 feet high. A cirque is formed at the head of the valley glacier where some snow accumulates and is compacted to form a cirque glacier. The accumulated ice cuts the cirque while moving down the mountain tops. Cirques are the deep depressions with very steep concave slope with high walls at the heads as well as the sides. According to some scholars, cirques are formed not only by aberration, by aberration and frost action working simultaneously. Cirques are more common on the leeward slope of the mountain, which is the shady slope providing shelter from the afternoon sun. The term cirque is of French origin. Cirques are known as quarries in Scotland, quam in Wales, kar in Australia, nisht in Sweden and Jedel and Botan in Scandinavia. There are three components of an open cirque. One, the head wall, which is almost vertical with steep slope. Basins, which represents the floor of the cirque. Threshold, which is the outer margin of the cirque. The gap that develops between the glacier and the head wall of the cirque is called as Bergstrand. Lakes are generally found at the base or the bottom of the cirques. Such lakes are called as cirque lakes or tarn lakes. A rock basin is formed at the floor of the cirque basin due to the erosion consequent upon 
greater thickness of ice mass and its pressure. After deglaciation, the rock basin is filled up with water and thus forms small glacial lakes which is called as Sirk Lake or Tarn Lakes as they are called in the British Isles. Aerites and Serrated Ridge When cirques are formed on both sides of the mountain range, the mountain divide or the summit line of the mountain becomes thin or narrow due to cutting back of the cirque by glaciers on the opposite side. Such narrow, steep, sharp edge ridges are called as aerites in French or grat in German. A aerity is in fact is a sawtooth divide consisting of several cols. Arity is called as serrate ridge in England. The profile of a arity will be rough and jagged like sawtooth ridge. Horns. When the three or more cirques cut back into sides of the mountain, summits meet each other on their backs. A pyramidal shape peak with very steep sides is formed which is called as horn or Matterhorn. Matterhorn is the name of the peak in the Alps mountain which is the typical example of horn. Horns are formed through the headward erosion of the cirque walls. If three or more radiating glaciers cut headward until their cirques meet at high sharp pointed steep sided pyramidal shaped peak is formed which is called as horn. They are the characteristic feature of the high glaciated regions. Several examples of pyramidal shaped peaks or horns are found in Himalayas. Example, Mount Godwin Austin in Karakoram range, Nanda Devi in Uttaranchal Himalaya and Mount Everest in Nepal etc. Kol. Kol is a pass in the glaciated mountainous region. When the cirques from the opposite direction or side of the mountain develops and meet each other, the summit line is lowered creating a gap in the form of pass. The gap formed due to the cutting of the head walls because of the intersection of two steep sided cirque is called as col. Many passes in the Alps mountain are formed by the glacial action. A wide pass is called as saddle. U-shaped valleys. U-shaped valleys are the characterized by steep valley walls or valley sides with concave slope and broad flat valley floors. The glaciated valleys are also called as glaciated troughs. The section of the glacial valleys of the mountain glacier is U-shaped. This type of valley is the result of aberration and plucking. Generally, it is considered that the glacial by itself cannot cut valleys or they do not form their own valleys. When glacier move through the pre-existing river valleys through the mechanism of aberration and plucking, they transform the V-shaped valley into U-shaped valley. Thus, it is seen that U-shaped glacial valleys are modified form of pre-existing V-shaped river valleys. Hanging valleys. Hanging valleys are formed due to differential erosion by the main glacier and the tributary glacier. The main or the major glacier deepens the valley at a faster rate than the tributary or smaller glacier. Therefore, the valley formed by the tributary glacier will be located at a higher elevation than the valley formed by the 
main glacier. The tributary glacier valleys joining the main glacier valley will be discordant in the nature. That is the valley formed by the tributary glacier is located at a higher elevation than the main valley. It is thus seen that valley formed by the tributary glacier seems to hang over the main valley. Such valleys formed by the tributary glaciers are called as hanging valleys. According to glacier erosion school, hanging valleys are the result of difference between the levels of the main and the tributary glacier valleys due to their differential rate of erosion. According to glacial protection school, the main valleys are eroded by the water whereas that of the tributary valley by the glacier. The main valleys are over deepened because of the water action. On the other hand, the tributaries are unable to deepen their valleys like main valleys. Thus, the level of tributary glacial valley becomes higher than the main valley. Consequently, tributary valleys appear hanging over the main valley. Roshi Mountainis Roshi Mountaini is a glacial erosional feature which is formed when there is undulating surface or swells of hard rocks in the course of the glacier. The glacier rides over them and descends down to continue their journey. The side over which the glacier rides the outcrop is called as onset or stor side. While the side of the glacier which descends is called as the lee side. The side over which the glacier climbs that is the onset side is smoothened and polished through the mechanism of aberration by advancing glacier and has gentle slope. As the glacier descends the slope along the lee side of dome surface or the rocks the glacier plucks the rocks to form rough steeper slope. The rocky outcrop which is polished and smoothened and rounded by aberration or upstream or onset side and irregular and steeper by plucking action on the downstream or lee side with steeper slope is called as Roshi Mountainis. From a distance these rock swells with irregular lee side appears like flock of ships sitting in the glaciated valleys. These rock outcrops or rock swells are called as sheep rocks. Crag and tail. Crag and tail is a landform associated with volcanic or basaltic plug which is projected above the ground surface. It is a peculiar landform having vertical eroded steep up glacial side and tail like appearance with the lower height down the glacier side. The volcanic plaques offer resistance in the flow direction of the glacier ice and hence the side facing the direction from which the glacier ice comes becomes steep due to erosion and is called as crack. On the other hand, the other side being sheltered by the glacial ice becomes elongated with gentle slope and appears like a tail. Fjords or fjords. Fjords are submerged glaciated valleys or troughs with steep slope. Fjords are long narrow inlets into the sea coast with more or less steep sides. The glaciated troughs or the valleys were submerged due to the changes in the sea level that is rise in the sea level. The fjords are deep and narrow with long arms stretching inland between the steep rocky mountain sides. Fjords are characterized by steep walls with several hanging valleys. 
they are associated with high latitudes where snow line reaches the sea level. Fjord type of coast is characterized by highly irregular and indented coastline. Such type of coast line is very ideal for the location of ports and harbors. Fjord type of coastline is best developed on the coast of Norway, Greenland, Iceland, Eastern Canada, Alaska, Scotland, South Chile, etc. There are two views regarding the formation of fjords. One, deep valleys were carved out by the glacial descending from the coastal mountains above the sea level. At latter date, these glaciated valleys were submerged under the sea water to form fjords. Secondly, fjords are formed by glacial erosion below the sea level. Sea level has significantly lowered during the Pleistocene Ice Age and thus pre-existing river valleys were further deepened by the glaciers. These valleys later submerged under the sea water because of the rise in the sea level due to deglaciation and these submerged glaciated valleys become fjords. Glacial stairways. Glacial stairways are also called as giant ways or cyclopean stairs. They are very picturesque glaciated landform. The stairs are formed by the advancing glacier through the process of aberration and plucking of the step faults which come across the path of the moving glacier. The plucking of the rocks at the foot of the faults result into the formation of vertical cliff. They are the glacial benches separated by vertical cliff. Each stair is separated from the other by vertical cliffs measuring around 30 to 100 meters. A smaller depression becomes a lake when they are filled with melt water. The smaller lakes are called as paternoster lakes. Truncated spurs. Many of the valley glaciers occupy pre-glacial stream valleys and such valleys are generally straighter than the former stream valleys. Aberration by glacier erodes the spurs projecting from the sides of the original valley and thus produces truncated spurs. Glacier may straighten the trough by aberration of spurs and thereby produces truncated spurs. The interlocking spurs are formed as a result of erosion by the meandering river. These spurs are eroded by the straight flowing glacier and it moves down the valley to form truncated spur. The geographical cycle or the cycle of erosion is an idealized model that explains the development of relief in a landscape during various stages. According to some scholars, the cycle of glacial erosion can never approach its final stage. The glaciers in the mountainous areas erode them to such a low level that their surface is pulled down below the snow line where the glacial melts to form running water. Some typical landscape can be seen in various stages of glacial cycle of erosion. Youthful stage. The glacial erosion begins with pre-glacial landscape. This stage is marked by the inward cutting activity of glacier in the cirque. The glacier in the beginning occupies some depressions which already exist. This increases the area under cirque. These depressions later take the form of cirque. The mountain summits turns into horns and development of glacial staircases is initiated. The hanging valleys are not prominent in this stage. Mature stage. 
This stage is initiated when a glacier develops into trunk glaciers. The erosion by the trunk glacier and valley glaciers will not be the same. It results into the development of hanging valleys. Glacial staircases are fully developed and paternoster lakes are formed. The glacial trough acquires stepped profile. The mature stage in the glacial cycle of erosion ends with cirque recession. Old stage. In this stage, the glaciated areas are eroded down and the depressions are filled with deposition and level surface begins to form. Moraines are formed and a layer of till covers the plain. The gradient of the mountain slope becomes very gentle. The silk in the opposite direction coalesces and the summit of the mountains are greatly eroded and the mountain tops becomes rounded. Glaciers in Himalayas Himalaya mountains are the home of many glaciers. The word Himalayas consists of two words. Him is equal to snow and Alaya is equal to place or the house. The snow line of western Himalayas is higher than the eastern Himalayas. Siachen glacier is one of the largest glaciers outside the polar region. It is located in the Karakoram range in Himalayas. Siachen glacier is the world's highest area of conflict. The other major glaciers are Hispar, Batura, Bayafo, Baltero, Gangotri and Mil etc. The erosional work of the glacier is mostly undertaken by the mechanism of aberration and plucking. The erosional work in the highlands or the mountainous areas is mostly related to their summits. The erosional landforms which are associated with glaciated mountain regions includes cirques, erites, serrated ridge, horn etc. The features associated with the valley formation includes u-shaped valleys and hanging valleys. In the high latitudes, the typical feature associated with the glacial landscape is in the form of fjords which are the glaciated valleys submerged below the sea level, producing highly irregular coastline as in case of Norway. Within the glaciated troughs, some typical landforms are seen such as Roshi Mountainous, Crag and Tail etc. The cycle of erosion model as applied to glacial processes reveals that the youthful stage is characterized by active erosion, especially in the mountainous regions, producing some landforms such as cirque, arites, etc. In the mature stage, the valley glacier turns into trunk glacier and is associated with cirque recession formation of glacial stairways. The old stage is characterized by filling of the depressions, moraine and till formation etc. The summital areas are rounded in nature in this stage. The Himalayan mountain ranges are the abode of number of glaciers. Siachen glacier is one of the largest. <laughs>